very good morning to everyone uh, today at first we are going to start discussing differences between prose and poetry frequently we make a mistake as you know that poetry and prose or drama novel these are the segmentations of literature but we cannot say we cannot distinguish what is the differences between them at first we are going to discuss this one these things we have seen just uh, poetry and uh, prose so this is a diagram or you can uh, uh, the differences between these three uh, among these three first one you have seen that um, in poetry poetry poi whenever we mention the poetry or poems we can guess something else like what it should be uh, what a shorter one or it should be a what uh, one by one uh, there is no what complete sentences etc but what is the difference actually and you know that what poetry says we say that sir poetry reflects the criticism of life criticism of society or it highlights of what the deep feelings of a writer of a person so whenever we ask the same question regarding prose regarding drama we have seen that the answer is the same because drama is also reflection of the society reflection of a nation reflection of a person okay similarly prose is also i mean prose means here you know that um, uh, fiction uh, i mean short stories drama uh, sorry novels we have mentioned that okay poetry so some poems are right but not always why we have mentioned that not always the ancient concept and the medieval concept we have in that without having a what without having a rhyme that should not be treated as a poem but now it is especially in the modern ages after 1970s we have seen that it is not mandatory to use rhyme scheme or the rhyme okay so that is not mandatory on the other hand what is its, its features lines are grouped into stanzas and you know that in poems frequently we mention that lines not the sentences i mean sub what the lines may be a complete sentence or is a what group of words it's a phrase may be a phrase it's may be a collection of words it should not it, it is not necessary to be a sentence lines and the stanza you know that the stanza what is a stanza okay on the other hand um, in prose what there is there is no stanza that is a what paragraph para okay and in short stories in novels we have seen that or we see what there is no phrase this or there is a group of words there is uh, most of the sentences are complete sentences the the sentence must follow the grammatical rules and regulations most of the cases except dialogues okay then uh, next one is what has beats or a lucky rhyme meter meter almost musical meter creates a word musical when we read poems you have seen that there is some musical tones because of the rhyme schemes rhythms okay but it is absent where in novel in short stories in drama as well okay next of what includes figurative languages frequently all the poems what highlights of what figurative languages figurative languages means of what that doesn't expose the meaning directly that sometimes of what hints as a result the reader the audience what they should think deeply they should analyze it with what social perspective familial perspective nation perspective or some other perspectives got my point i mean support in poetry you will not get the meaning you will not getting the hints directly to understand the meaning of poems what you should do you must use your faculty 
you need some reasons logic you have to think much and much otherwise what you will not get the meaning on the other hand when you read the novel you have seen that the novel directly straight everything and what is coming next it is also hints hint there i mean so what chronological sequences there at the same times much or the in details interpretations we have got were well in novel on the other in drama we may not have got the detailed interpretations but what whenever the dialogues come whenever the actor and actress perform on the stage we may get the meaning we can understand the situation i mean explanation is there in dialogues and the performance of the actor and actress okay next one is a watch then um, written to enter train or what express a mode example what free verses akko and what the some other things these are the uh, medium of uh, media of what expression in which way you have to express yourself on the other hand whenever we go to the prose we see that what opposite of poetry because there is no lines it follows up what complete sentence which we have already mentioned that okay similarly uh, written in sentence one after another and there is a regular of what Re regular writing written uh, to what enter train in form and what pursue a region and that a region were to the psalm passages and compilation of the passages will get a complete message on the other hand there is a dissimilarities a poem most of the time deals with a particular ideas particular theme but a prose may have dealt of what a number of ideas number of themes number of social contexts obviously there may have a case supreme theme but there may there may have more than one supreme or the major themes as well okay there is number of sub themes to develop the ideas in prose but we, which is mostly absent in poetry then examples for writing the to express the uh, prose that is of what uh books newspaper articles essays short stories these are of what these are the prose actually and drama you know that what is a drama drama is a genre of literature there is no doubt but that is written for what that is written to perform the to perform on the stage in a theater who will perform actor and actress what they have performed the characterizations in drama there are some created personas or what characters the actor and actress perform represent the character for example for example a riders to the sea we have seen that bradley mori uh, and uh, nora eh, kathleen they are they are the character of the drama when you perform on the stage you are the actor actress i mean so you are representing them you are expressing them you are discovered you are what exposing their feelings okay and there must have some dialogues some dialogues which is absent where in poems or the poetry okay and as well as in prose as well. and another thing is that uh, in poetry will say something else what the ideas of a poet the poet cannot express it directly he creates a persona that is called a poet that is speaker a speaker he speaks in the poem either he speaks from the first person point of view or from third person point of view third person point of view when we have already mentioned that when he expresses from the first person point of view he expresses it i mean so he is a part of the incidents he is a part of the what activities is when it is expressed from the third person point of view here the man is omni share omnipotent i mean so he knows everything he can comment 
he can react everything but from first person point of view the speaker cannot what show his reaction he cannot come make the comment because he is a part of that one in prose we see that the writer doesn't express directly himself he doesn't present himself he creates a narrator he creates a narrator the narrator narrates are being either first person point of view or third person point of view but in drama we will say that we see there is no speaker there is no narrator who is there to express the ideas of the writer or the dramatist or the playwright that is the actors because the actor the characters they what perform everything through dialogues they speak themselves number conversation we have seen the dialogues we have seen that next these are already uh, repetitions <coughs> that is what use sentences and what paragraphs we have already mentioned uh, these things uh, then here use lines in poetry use lines and stanzas in prose what sounds similar to ordinary speech or writing day to day conversation you can use where in prose in prose but in poetry you cannot use day to day language or the conversation what you should do you should of what selective languages that is a artistic languages figurative language in the previous slide we have mentioned okay then of words may or may not be creative state for it for example newspaper news this there is no creativity directly they have presented short stories it is a creative novel is a creative that's why in case of prose either it can be what creative or it is it may not be creative but in poem or poetry everything must be creative so another that is in prose there are no line no line breaks sentences run to the right margin i mean so what you have to complete the whole page up to the right margin then you can go the next line but in, po in poetry you see that it is not mandatory to what express to complete the k okay, the line and you need not to wait until the right margin okay then of what um, the first word of each sentences is capitalized in prose. prose because it is a sentence we know that a sentence must be started with a what capital letter okay? traditionally in poetry the first letter to every line is capitalized but many modern poets choose not to follow these rules strictly it is not mandatory to start with a capital letter in poetry but in prose it is mandatory because that is a complete sentence as it is not a sentence it's a group of words or a phrase so you can use either capitalization or then of what prose looks like large blocks of words the shape of poetry can vary depending on lines length and what the intent of the poet okay so it is it, it depends it varies what you want to express either it would be a hexameter tetrameter or pentameter when it is a hexameter the lines length will be the different than the tetrameter but in case of prose you need not to maintain the hexameter pentameter or any meter you just need to complete of what complete the sentence okay then uh, what is the stanza actually the basic uh, differences the basic a uh, basic paragraphs shares on idea about a topic okay on the other hand a group of lines that share an idea you know that paragraph and stanza seems to be the same in which way after a stanza there is a gap empty lines after a paragraph we have seen that there is a gap i mean empty lines as well 
but what is the difference a paragraph is a compilation of some sentences a stanza is a compilation of some lines on the other hand a paragraph must express a single idea whereas a stanza may not express a complete idea about a particular thing it may be the partial interpretation or expression of an idea okay then of what each paragraph will identify the idea explain and provide evidence whereas of what stanza are separated by an empty line already we have mentioned that then final one is of what focuses on contact and struct, uh, structure Stanzas in poetry are equal to paragraphs in prose. Almost, uh, we have already the functions is almost the same. Function is almost the same, but difference is regarding their elements, regarding the of what structure. Okay. Then um, uh, already uh, I have uploaded to some uh, one thing. Uh, if you go through the link, you will uh, see a Bengali interpretation differences between uh, poetry drama novel and short stories okay so you can uh, if you go to the link you can get it so any questions from your side please if you have any questions i am ready to answer already we have tried to understand of what what is the pros uh, that difference among of what poetry prose drama poetry prose and drama everyone has the same intention same functions but structurally they are different structurally they are different what is the differences already we have mentioned if you want to uh, anything add you are allowed none of you so thank you everyone